Okay, let's take a minute to talk about phases of matter. So there are um, three phases of matter that we'll talk about in this class, solids, liquids, and gases. And let's just use water as an example because we all are relatively familiar with the different phases of water. So the phase of water, this is a physical property. Um, changing phases would be a physical change because the state of matter is changing but the substance is the same. So for example, let's just use water. So we'll look at solids, liquids, and gases of water. So we'll say I have H2O solid, H2O liquid, and H2O gas. So remember we identified the different classes of matter. H2O, this is water. This would be a compound because it's made up of two or more elements. It's a pure substance. It has two hydrogens and one oxygen. So these are the same substances, even though they are in different phases of matter. So what we would call solid water is ice. What we would call liquid water is just water. And what we would call gaseous water is steam. Or sometimes you would call it, see it called vapor. So we can have phase transitions. These phase transitions are changes, they're physical changes. There's no chemical reaction happening. A chemical reaction is when bonds are breaking and forming. No bonds are gonna be breaking and forming when we are going from solid, liquid to gas of the same substance. So let's just take a few minutes and um, identify some um, key words here. So when we go between a solid and a liquid or a liquid and a solid, this is a phase change and we have different names that we use for them. We're not worried about a lot of this in this course. We will talk about it a lot more in 162 when we talk about um, energy and phase transitions. But when you go from a solid to a liquid, we know that this is melting. When we go from a liquid to a solid, we know that this is freezing. When we go from a liquid to a gas, or a gas to a liquid, from a liquid to a gas, this is called vaporization. And when we go from a gas to a liquid, this is called condensation. And there actually is, um, phase changes that can skip this middle phase altogether. You can go from a solid to a gas. This is called sublimation. Or you could go from a gas to a solid. This is called deposition. But these phase changes are all physical changes because the chemistry isn't changing. No chemical bonds are being broken or formed. Just the phase of matter is changing and that is changing because of a temperature change or a pressure change, but we're not gonna get into any of that anytime soon. Um, another thing that you're going to see is when we're writing chemical equations, you're gonna see this AQ. AQ stands for aqueous, A-Q-U-E-O-U-S. And what aqueous means is that a solid has been, or not even a solid, it could be another liquid, but something has been dissolved in water. So a good example of this is if you make salt water, if you have a solution that has salt water in it, it would be NaCl aqueous. Because what that means is that you have dissolved salt in water. 
So you're gonna see this AQ a lot in labs or in a lot of the chemical um, reactions that we'll be talking about. You'll see solids, liquids, and gases, which will tell you the phase of matter that that chemical is in. Um, another one that I just wanted to make you um, aware of, AQ, means that whatever that substance is has been dissolved in water. It would not be NaCl liquid because what that means is that you have melted solid NaCl into liquid NaCl and that is not what you have done because if you put so for example um, the melting point of salt NaCl melting point MP is 1474 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you make, if you dissolve salt in water, what you have is aqueous NaCl. If you are writing a chemical equation and you put NaCl liquid, what that means is you have NaCl that is at above its melting point of 1474 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not what you mean. Almost all of the liquids that we use will be in, another word for this is that they're in solution, and we abbreviate solution S-O-L and then the L-N up high. So this is a solution of sodium chloride. It's not liquid sodium chloride. We never will be dealing with liquid sodium chloride. Um, so this again is just a little bit of the groundwork that we will be building on as we start talking about some um, specific chemistry and chemical reactions, different phases of matter, physical changes, chemical bonds are not breaking or being formed. So these are not chemical changes, these are physical changes.